Uh, hi, this is Sandy Gillies, and I'm going to show you today a way of navigating around a big PDF document using an app called Liquid Text. So here I've got um, my document open in Liquid Text. And the first thing I can do is common to most PDF readers. If I open the tab over here, I've got a list of my documents, but there's a second tab outline and if I click on that I actually see the table of contents that's built into the document and of course most PDF readers will do that and I can click on any of these and it'll take me to the relevant part of the document. Of course we all know that we get a lot of documents that are not very good PDFs and they don't have a table of contents built in. Uh, but also, I find that this method requires a couple of extra clicks yeah, from the document itself. Uh, I've got to open that and then I've got to look for the outline tab or the bookmark tab in other PDF readers and then click. So it just takes a fraction of a second longer um, whilst you're working in SIM. And of course, if you're working in SIM, Every second counts. Uh, I also think a, a disadvantage of this, uh, both here and in other PDFs, is that it takes up a bit of screen space, and we don't always have screen space to spare. So, uh, Liquid Text has a solution to this, which is really unique to uh, to Liquid Text. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my finger at the top of the screen here, and then I'm going to scroll at the bottom of the screen, and you'll see I'm creating a split view. Um, and Liquid Text call this a, a pinch. This is where the, the document scrunches together in the middle. But the interesting bit comes when I now start to draw with a pencil a line between the two parts of the document. Uh, so this is the explanatory mem memorandum here. And I think that's going to be quite important, so I'm going to link to it. And I'm just going to write explanatory there. And what that means is now, when I'm at the top of the page and I click on this link I've created, I go straight to the right part of the document and then back up to the top. If I hold my finger again on the top of the page whilst I click on the link over here, then it opens up in split view and that can sometimes be useful as well. So I'm just going to add a couple of extra links that I think might be useful. Um, I think one is on page nine. There we go. Budgetary implications. That seems to me like an important point, so I'm going to create a link to that. And let's have a look. That looks like it might be useful here. Oops. Detailed explanation. And again, I'm going to write the title of those at the top so I know what I'm dealing with. So when I open my document, um, I can see these, these things, these three things straight away on the front page of the document. There's no clicking into a table of contents or finding anything in a table of contents. It's just that little bit quicker. And so as soon as I click on the thing I needed, then it takes me there. And again, I, I can hold a finger here whilst I click on a link over there. And it'll open in split screen. So there you have it. Little trick with the app Liquid Text, which I think is... Uh, really useful, as I say, because it's all on the front page of the document as soon as you open it.